हेलो भिवर्स वेलकम बैक टू ए निव भिड अफ सुनंदाज ट्यूटोरियाल टूडे वी उल डिस्कस एबाउट द हाबिट एंड हाबिटेट अफ आलगी आई हाव अलरेडी अपलोडेड एन इंट्रोडक्टरी भिडियो एलंग उथ टू अदर भिडिओज एक्सप्लेनिंग द आलगाल फ्लाजेला डिटेल्स एबाउट आलगाल फ्लाजेला देर इन दैट भिडिओज यू कैन अल्सो व्वाच एंड एंजय माइ शर्ट भिडिओ अन् आलगाल पिगमेंट्स If you have not watched those video please go through that first so today we will enjoy the topic algal habit and habitat so these are the syllabus of tgt ssb tgt and plus 3 first semester we are discussing topics according to this syllabus so let us discuss about the habit and habitat of algae as i have already told you in my first introductory video algae are generally aquatic in their habitat they may be freshwater algae they may be marine algae freshwater forms are generally found in ponds in lakes and salt water or marine algae are found in marine ecosystem some algae are terrestrial also they found in wet or damp soil algae also live in symbiotic relationship with fungi and known as lichens some algae live as endophytes that means inside the inside the body of living organisms they are also free floating or free swimming known as planktons they form planktons in aquatic ecosystems sometimes they get attached with the substratum or bottom of the aquatic ecosystem known as benthos or benthic algae so according to the habitat algae may be classified as aquatic algae terrestrial algae aerophyte thermophyte cryophytes and algae with some unusual habitat so first of all aquatic algae aquatic algae are those algae which live in aquatic ecosystem they may be fresh water they may be marine marine algae are generally called seaweeds fresh water forms Ex what are the examples of fresh water forms chlamydomonas volvox hydrodictyon etc some are present in stagnant that means still water for example cladophora idogonium eulothrix and some are present in slow running water for example vaucaria most of the member of phyophyce that means brown algae or rhodophyce found in sea either in floating condition or may be attached to the substratum planktons which are free floating algae they may either be free floating form from the very beginning and never attached to the substratum known as eu plankton for example microcystis chlamydomonas cnidesmos cosmarium etc or in the beginning may be attached but later on they get detached and become free floating known as tycoplanktons so planktons group are divided into two categories one is eu plankton one is tycoplankton example of eu plankton is microcystis chlamydomonas cnidesmos cosmarium and the example of tycoplankton is gygnema and idogonium remember these points very clearly then terrestrial algae those algae which found which are found in terrestrial condition are known as terrestrial algae the algal forms occurring on soil surface are known as saprophytes and the example of it is vaucaria botridium fischiella idocladium so remember these points very clearly because these are very important from your examination point of view then aerophytes <coughs> such algal forms are found are adapted for aerial mode of life and occur in tree trunks moist walls 
flower pots etc so they get their water and carbon dioxide requirement directly from atmosphere so they are known as aerophytes example trintifolia found in bark of tree in moist and humid climatic condition while firmidium cytonema hapalosiphon have been observed to grow on bark of tree along with bryophytes next thermophytes as the name suggest this algae found in very high temperature sometimes up to 85 degree celsius and the common example of it is the members of the family chlorococci and oscillatoriaceae next cryophytes these algae found in mountain peaks covered with snow that means in extremely cold condition and remember these examples because uh, these examples have already been asked in examination in ssb lectures if examination for example hematococcus nivalis that impart red color in arctic and alpine regions while chlamydomonas yellowstonensis impart green color of the snow and mountains of european countries particularly in arctic regions so remember these two names one is hematococcus nivalis impart red color and chlamydomonas yellowstonensis impart green color next algae with unusual habitat there are some halophytic algae as the name suggest it is present in saline condition lithophytic algae grow in moist rock or rocky surface then epiphytic algae those grow on other organism or other algae or other aquatic plant then there are some epizoic algae and these algae which are grow or which are found on the shells of mollusks and turtles and fins of fishes and the common example of it is cladophora which are found on snails and shells of bivalves then endozoic algae which are found inside the body of aquatic animals and the example of it is zooclorella found inside the body of hydra viridis so next is the parasitic algae and the common most common example of it is cephalurus please remember this name as it is already been asked in your ssb lectures if exam one is cephalurus which causes red rust of tea and chloro titrium and phyllosiphon are also important example of parasitic algae then some these are some symbiotic algae that means several members of cyanophyce grow in association with other plants and the most common example of it is nostoc that found in the thallus of anthocerus and notothallus again another example of it is anabena which is found in the coralloid root of cycas anabena azoli is found in azola in association with azola then chlorella is another nitrogen fixing bacteria uh, chlorella form another association with azotobacter and with other species of ceratophyllum and mosses so these are all about symbiotic algae so in this video i have discussed about the habit and habitats of algae in my next video i will discuss about the alga about the algal structure different types of thallus organization of different classes of algae then the classification likewise so stay tuned